Since this is the first demo, we'll get started with just looking at the basics of Microsoft Excel 2010. Well, it looks like a very large, for those of you that remember this, a very large Sync the Battleship game. And that's a good way to look at this because each one of these units, called a cell, has a name associated with it based upon the column that it's in and the row that it's a part of. So this is the intersection of the D column and row 4. So this is D4. And this area up here where we see D4 showing is called the name box. And so anytime you click on a cell, the name box will identify that particular cell. Now to activate multiple cells, very similar as in Word, you click and drag. So let's click and we can activate. Notice that the name box is working in terms of rows and columns now. Three columns, four rows, and so on and so forth. And I can activate those cells. And it's basically, you think of this as from B3 down to F9, B3 to F9. Another way, like in Word, you can hold down your Shift key and use your arrow key if you need to be more precise in working with that. Whenever you have a group of cells active, all you have to do is click anywhere else and that deactivates that particular group of cells. Down at the bottom, you'll notice that we have sheets. Sheet 1, 2, 3. And a icon that would allow us to insert an extra sheet. These are called worksheets. And so you can have multiple worksheets in a workbook. This whole thing is called a workbook. So worksheets, the individual page. Workbooks, the compilation of all those pages. You'll notice that the ribbon uh, looks very similar to what we saw in Word, except now we get over here, we're looking into more number orientation. This number formatting pull-down is going to be a very, very big tool that we will use in the future. You can do conditional statements or formatting as a table. We'll be doing that later in another demonstration, creating tables and data tables cell styles, how we want the cells to look, what the cell style is. Notice as I go over a particular style, we see different things happening to the cell that I have active. Inserting rows, columns, deleting rows, columns, and formatting. Auto sum, another important part of the package here that we'll, you'll get used to. Filling talk about filling in a little bit. So all these things in the home ribbon are very important to the basics of setting up your worksheets and how the data on your worksheets, whether it be text or whether it be numbers, looks. If I want to activate a particular set, I can also use the name box by using a colon. So if I went B6 colon G12 and hit the enter key, it would activate from B6 to G12. And notice as I use my arrow keys, it disappears. So until you actually put something into those cells, it won't stay around. So the first number is your upper left number, the colon means through, and the second number is your bottom right. Again, just manipulate. The other important part of this is this long bar right here which is called the formula bar. The formula bar is a place where you correct or edit any equation or function or even text that you put into the cell. Now a cell can only hold one item at a time. So what I put into that cell can be overwritten with something else. So I don't have to 
just correct it if I don't want to. So for example, if I type Paul Morris and hit the enter key, moves down to the next cell, notice I think, oh I forgot my caps. Well I can go up here and put in my caps or I can just retype what's in the cell all over again and it will replace it. So it's very important that you know how to correct something that you put into a cell. Again under File we'll find our Save and our Save As and notice in the Save we have Workbook that's the Excel 2010. We have our Workbook for 97 and to, up to 2003 so the workbook up here will work for 2007 and 2010 and notice we have again PDF down here as well as a whole bunch of other ones that deal specifically with Excel and Excel information so save and save as will give us those if you right click on a cell it gives you options that you can use in either a short almost format box up here on upper right and also a list of options that you can do down here that show up when you create a right click like word we have dialog boxes that show up notice there's a whole lot more in this dialog box numbers alignment font borders we can put around the cells fill with the color and so on we'll be doing more of that later so this is just a real quick overview of the different parts of what is on the Excel workbook the ribbons how to maneuver and get around in the cells.